Uh, hi folks, this is Dr. Patil here and with me I have got Dr. Shreya Bhatt today and he has achieved a remarkable rank of rank 9, a single digit rank for the recently concluded NEET SS in medicine stream. Welcome Shreya and a big congratulations for a remarkable feat. Thank you sir. Okay, so uh, what is the speciality you are looking for now? Uh, sir, actually I am uh, still confused between two branches, medical gastroenterology and endocrinology. But okay. most probably I will go for medical gastroenterology. Okay. So Shrey, I remember you from quite some time through the telegram groups and channels asking about doubts and I, I can see the effort that has gone behind achieving this rank. But obviously there's a next generation of students who need to get guided from the achievers. So tell yes. me about your preparation source and how much time it took for you to prepare. Yes, sir. sir really I started preparing seriously for DTSS. Uh, six months before uh, the final MD exam, sir. Okay. For uh, serious preparation, sir. Okay. And uh, uh, along with uh, along with Harrison, I was studying from your videos, yours and uh, uh, Dilip sir's videos. Okay. And along with that, I was uh, seeing Harrison. And okay. for clinical medicine, I was using standard uh, textbook like MacLeod and other uh, Indian yeah. clinical medical book authors. Yes, sir. After completion of MD, I got uh, two months time to prepare for NEET SS. Uh, just dedicated study for uh, NEET SS for two months. Okay. So I took a break from uh, the practice and after MD, I took a break and uh, I dedicatedly only studied for last two months. Uh, and uh, so that was my uh, big, uh, strategy, sir. Okay. And uh, yeah, yes, yeah. sir. So, uh, uh, you did mention about the clinical medicine. Now, most yes. of the entrance exam students who are preparing for NEET SS generally focus on Harrison, which is, yes, truly yes. clinical medicine, but not the bedside medicine, right? So what is the importance yes. of learning bedside medicine for NEET SS? Like, did you see questions which were based on yes. bedside judgments or it was purely based on what is written in Harrison? Uh, sir, nowadays the exam pattern is uh, on uh, the clinical questions are asked, one-liners are very less, though in this net SS exam, uh, more questions were from directly from Harrison and more fact based. Okay. Clinical questions were very less, but there were so many questions like uh, 30, 40 questions still were there for, uh, from uh, other clinical medicine, like uh, long histories given, clinical findings are given, and uh, along with that, investigations finding has, findings are given, and they have asked the, from that, like, like flow chart pattern. They mm -hmm. asked some so, so many questions, but on uh, but I personally felt that uh, this time the more exam was more on the uh, sir fact, right. factual days or more yeah. yes sir okay do but you still do I have studied uh, yeah but still I have studied Harrison properly along mm -hmm. with videos so mm -hmm. it was okay for me yes sir. okay do you suggest students also spend time on clinical medicine books like your MacLeod's or Alagappan will that be of yes sir of, of course yes, sir. Okay, how yeah, many yes, sir. It is very from the bedside medicine. Sir, bedside medicine around uh, this time very less, sir. I will say ten to fifteen questions, sir. Okay, it's still it's a significant less number, from okay. directly from bedside. There are very less questions. Yeah, it's still a significant number, right? Even if there are five, six, it's still a significant number. Okay, yes, now sir. did you notice yes, questions yes, which yes, were beyond sir. the purview of Harrison, or it is just staying true to Harrison? This recently concluded NEET exam. Sir, 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 in recently concluded exam only. Harrison based, sir. Uh, there was no need for any other book, sir. I, I felt, sir. Only Harrison based. Every new can corner is very important from Harrison. There were so many genetic questions from direct. Uh, they have uh, taken a direct line from Harrison. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I felt that uh, the it is for good reader of Harrison uh, will be uh, benefited more from this exam. Okay. Yes, have you read other? I'm not that good. good sir. Yes, sir. Have you read other alternative yes, like Cecil or uh, the other standard medicine textbooks? Have you read them during your MD preparation? No, sir. I have read only Harrison. Sir. I have read only Harrison. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, the other yes, question sir. I want to ask you is how much time yeah, for, you have devoted? Yeah, for, yeah, tell me, tell me. Sir, I was uh, mainly uh, reading from Harrison only, but from for some subjects like nephrology, gastro, and endocrinology. I was using the particular subject author like Schlesinger and uh, uh, Williams. Okay. Yeah, I use Fihali for some topics, yes, sir. Okay. But uh, major chunk I have read, uh, read from Harrison on this. Okay. Now, how much time you devoted for videos and what was your strategy? Like, see, I do agree. Some students are purely readers who read books and learn better. 
some students need someone yes, to take them through the basic introduction and then they'll be able to read the books efficiently so how much time you dedicated to reading the harrison and how much time you dedicated to go through videos and how much time you spent on the cuba yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, actually i have used videos more than reading sir i'm not a very good reader line to line i cannot read everything line to line from harrison i have used uh, uh, videos uh, maximum sir i have seen almost all the videos from Pre preparator medicine okay. uh, part almost all the lectures yes sir along with that i was using uh, harrison tables and other things for neat assess preparation uh, during md days yeah for my final md exams i have seen some, some topics which which are not very important for neat assess but in theory exam they ask so many uh, rare and odd questions so for that i read harrison properly Okay. But yeah, for neat assess, I have used videos more, and along with that, Harrison uh, is a part. Okay, and how much time you dedicated to the videos, and how much time you dedicated to the Q Bank? Sir, uh, videos uh, maximum, sir, seventy to eighty percentage part I have seen videos. Mm -hmm. I am not a fan of, uh, frankly speaking, I am not a fan of uh, question bank, sir. I am not. I feel that uh, if you have read uh, the topic or seen the topic properly. So mm -hmm. questions will be asked from those topics only, sir. Yeah. So I do not waste much time on question bank during my PG prep, uh, MD entrance exam preparation also. Mm -hmm. I, I was not a fan of question banks. But yeah, question bank is useful to see yeah which topics are more important in which topics you have to go through properly. That is important. But personally, I feel if the topics, is, topics are covered properly while, while reading or while watching videos, uh, there is no need to go for all the same uh, time to see, go for question bank and see the same thing from the question bank. There is no need, yes. Okay. But yeah, question bank is useful to just uh, have an overall idea that what can be asked, which topics are needed to study, yes. Sir. Yeah, do, I do agree on that point because the need assess, the scope is extremely wide, right? They can ask anything yes, from sir. Harrison or any of the any. medicine textbooks. So everything that that is there in your standard textbook cannot be converted into MCQs. So yeah. purely relying on QBank may not work for every student, but there are some set of students who are not good listeners, who are not good readers, but they're good thinkers. So they can get better out of QBank. So obviously it needs to be like, okay, for me, QBank works better, but for some other students, uh, reading works better. Yeah. For some students, listening to a lecture works better. Okay, now, uh, important point I wanted to ask you is when we started building up the prep ladder, the video modules, notes and cue banks, that time the exam pattern was different, right? So we started focusing on super speciality, core concepts and little bit of medicine. But then once the exam pattern changed, we tried to add more uh, useful content for the current pattern of neat ss and i had the experience of teaching even when the 2017 the neat ss was based on general medicine after that it, it was converted into two paper based system and we are back on the general medicine so how do you think uh, the videos can be made better to suit the current exam pattern because right now the videos are a mix of what we created for the earlier pattern and then we added newer videos for the newer pattern yes uh, sir i feel that that for this exam pattern if you are only focusing on neat ss then uh, you have to cover all the subjects. Uh, you have to give importance to all the subjects. Mm -hmm. So it was for, uh, first time for us as well, sir. So we were also confused that uh, what to study and in which depth you have to go for each, like in some subject like endocrinology and oncology. It is very vast, like nephrocardio we are seeing in the wards and everything uh, very frequently, but onco, endocrine, then rheumat as well. We see less in the words, uh, more in uh, theoretically we more. So sometimes I felt that in which depth, in what depth I should go for those topics, whether is it important or not, that was the biggest confusion for this uh, exam because it was first time, sir. But I felt that uh, not uh, for neat assess purpose, you are not needed to go in uh, so much depth of uh, topics, sir. You have to cover maximum things, but uh, sometimes you have to stop somewhere in those topics like it is not needed you have to that uh, you have to see that yes sir so for that need uh, prep ladder platform uh, most uh, and uh, especially your lectures sir your lectures are very basic very crisp you have gone through very important topics from harrison that were very useful sir okay, okay sir and uh, if you are yeah and uh, if you want those topics uh, to go in very depth like uh, the lips are uh, the lips are pattern is always like this sir they it goes from very basic to uh, very deep in, the, on, in those topics. Yeah, it, he, uh, he uh, teaches like that. So for understanding those topics, yes, it is very useful. But for NEAT-SS uh, purpose, if, if exam pattern is like this only, 
then you need not to go for so much depth in all the subjects yeah you need to know the subject properly and you should not miss uh, one subject for other subject that is more more important and if you are going very deep to, in some subject yeah then you will miss so many easy things or easily scoring marks scoring subjects in uh, in doing that sir i i felt like this sir yeah see i have observed this uh, nbe's exam trends from almost 2011 or 2012 so it's almost like 10 years experience of seeing what nbe does with their exams so i can clearly yeah. see that every year they come out with one system or one topic as a googly and maximum number of questions come from that so this year it was genetics right so next time you don't know what system that's going to be yeah. so obviously you cannot neglect any system in in harrison right so genetics yeah. pediatrics nothing can be neglected that's a important take home message that we can yeah. yes yes you, you need to space out your preparation time for all systems so i think yeah. you agree yeah. on that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i was telling like this how much time you had spent on genetics uh, sir genetics i was just uh, not uh, uh, what what was my plan was that i was reading major and that more uh, high reading topics for whole the day whole mm -hmm. day and in the night for like 15 20 minutes yeah i was seeing that those tables for genetics and that the hlas and uh, everything i used to see for 15 to 20 minutes during bed time for those topics yes sir so 15 20 minutes on uh, every alternate day yes sir Okay. Did you have any strategy for those minor subjects, like, for example, geriatrics? Sir, yes, I have seen. Yeah, I have seen. Uh, yeah, I have seen uh, geriatrics. Yes, sir. Your both your two videos on geriatrics on the app, sir. I have seen both the videos even during my MD days also for theory exams. So I have seen uh, on the during uh, MD days only, sir. So and I have revised those topics from your videos only, not from Harrison. Just I have seen your uh, your videos only. Okay. Okay, yes. so I think there were not much questions from the geriatrics, but still, it is going to remain an important yeah. system for the yeah, yeah. examinations. Yes, sir. Did you attempt the INICT recent uh, INICT, the previous INICT? Uh, yes, sir. I gave exam uh, uh, with with my. Uh, it was in between my theory MD theory exam papers. Okay. I went to give exam. I got a thirty. Okay. I did not uh, get qualified for interview round. I got thirty nine marks for in medical gastroenterology exam. Yes. Sir. Okay, so uh, how do you see that exam in comparison to NEET SS? Because I personally feel that students should choose one path for them. Mm -hmm. Either they are aiming yeah. for the institutes or they are aiming for the NEET SS. Because I, I personally feel that both paths are so different from each other. Right? If you are preparing for the INI, probably if it is gastroenterology, <laughs> going sizing a more and a little bit of Harrison mm -hmm. predictable topics from Harrison. I think if you are seeing the trends, INI whatever comes in medicine is quite predictable. Lot of repeats indeed. Mm -hmm. and core speciality is where the difficult questions appear medicine is a bit predictable on the other hand neat yeah. is entire medicine but every system is well valued in the examination yeah. so you need Thanks. to have different approaches so is yeah. it possible to have both approaches and still ace both exams or do you think one student should stick to one approach either focus on the neat ss or focus on the ini sir uh, with my experience uh, i will i will say that you should target only one exam sir with my experience because i was confused between the group branches so for those students who are not still sure about uh, uh, which branch they are going for for those yeah neat ss is a better option because they have read all the topics like i have done i have not read uh, any single subject very in very i have read almost every subject yes so for personally i will say yes you should uh, exam only uh, you you should uh, prepare on uh, and target for only one exam yes after that yeah you, you, if you have time and uh, yeah two months gap we are getting yes sir so we can target uh, uh, inss also yes sir. but for neat ss yeah you have to target only because you have to study almost everything sir for this exam because they are asking medicine basics which are some some questions were very basic with that neat pg level questions mm -hmm. we, which we have learned 3 4 years back sir Yes. so it is not it is very it was very difficult to remember those questions yes. uh, because uh, we have read very basic uh, things uh, for, from mbbs sir during md days we are, we are not uh, thinking about those topics or those uh, so uh, and uh, during preparation of super specialty as well sir we are we cannot uh, predict that this question will be asked sir some questions like oh yeah oh, these questions were uh, we have we are we were uh, reading during neat pg preparation yes sir So yes, yeah, sir. You have to yeah. So in fact, in one of the strategy video, I had told that I would recommend doing the NEET PG Q banks also. 
Yeah, from yes, pattern change, I'd recommend that I would recommend doing the neat PG QBank also because yeah, I remember yes. from NB and we used to do a for DNB exams, DNB medicine exam. There used to be for some time a MCQ based paper. The fourth paper used to be yeah. MCQ based, and those MCQs were a mix of some very high end Harrison deep based questions and some questions which are typical pickup from the neat PG. So that yes. trend I have seen with NB from so long. So I think that that trend is going to continue for some more time. But I personally also feel that the next year exam is going to be a little more tougher than what we saw this year. So the depth might increase and the number of clinical questions might increase because this is a, I can say, inaugural year after almost a gap of four or five years of medicine-based papers. Yes. Maybe it was kept little, a little uh, simple. Okay. Now uh, before we wind up, right, the last question. Now there's next generation of students who are preparing for the. NITSS examination, what are the valuable suggestions you would like to give? You've already thrown a light light on almost all aspects, but if you have anything specific for them to take home. Sir, I would say that uh, don't run behind uh, super speciality from the first year of MD itself, sir. Do yeah. not run for uh, super speciality profession just for theory. Yeah, theory is very useful, sir, but uh, in clinical practice, sir, it is very different, sir. And uh, medicine is the most beautiful subject, I would say, sir. Uh, and uh, it is uh, and do not run, uh, run yeah you you have you should have some target in your life that you have, you, you want to become a super specialist but for that you should not uh, forget uh, the basic medicine that is more important and uh, even if you become a specialist doctor so many patients will come and ask you about other system yeah. the queries uh, yeah yeah that is that i feel sir yes and uh, so as a physician yeah and uh, spend time with patients and whatever patient you see during mdts Yes. Uh, along with that, go home whenever, whatever you get, you time you get in first year, you get very less time, sir. So just see for half an hour or one hour for those topics and try to uh, use the, those that knowledge on the on the patients. Yeah. And uh, from second year, yes, you you can start. Uh, yeah, and you are you can start thinking about which branch you are looking for. Yeah, in which branch you have more interest. And uh, in some colleges, you have different different uh, departmental uh, postings. Yes, sir. I did not have in my hospital, sir. I have then only three, three years in medicine, but in so many hospitals in South, so many uh, hospitals are there where uh, you have direct posting in super speciality departments. Yes, sir. So you will get more idea after after that, in after second, after half of second year. Yes, sir. And yeah, for NITSS preparation, you, you are not needed to study for one, two years. It is not needed, sir. Not at all, sir. If you are studying for six months with proper uh, knowledge and everything it is sufficient i will say more than sufficient yes sir. for six to seven months are more than sufficient you have good if you have read harrison and other clinical books properly yes sir. i think harrison you uh, uh sure you brought a very important point so yes sir i in a, one of the strategy video i think i had told students that if you are like the exam pattern had changed and they were asking me like should i follow the i and i route or should i follow the neat ss route so i told that if you're still a PG student, I would recommend that just concentrate on medicine. Whatever you learn today, yes. clinical medicine, theory medicine, bedside medicine, whatever it is, that's going to help you in neat SS for sure. So if you're aiming for cracking yes. your neat SS soon after your MD or in the final year of your MD, that period, then just stay true yes. to medicine. Like how you said, stay true to medicine yeah. and you will definitely reach okay. your goal. But if you are Absolutely. preparing for INI, I wouldn't recommend doing that during your MD because you will run behind only one specialty and all other subjects will remain your gray area. Somehow you may pull through your MD exam, yeah. but throughout your life, yeah. they will remain your gray areas and you will not be able to visit yes. them back. So if you're aiming for INI, I used to recommend that start preparing for INI after you're done with your MD. Be thorough with medicine. Yes. Yeah. After your MD, it, you might, it might take some good amount of time, maybe sometimes one year, two years yeah. to crack the INI. But you can parallelly work and put that effort. But if neat assessment yes, is yes, just staying to true, staying true to medicine during your residency is medicine. then adequate. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. I think say uh, this interview would be really valuable for students because you have thrown light on various yes. gray areas where the students need to understand. And with this, yes. I'm signing off. And before I sign off, uh, wishing you all the best for your gastro or yes. residency on behalf of me, Dr. Dilip, and the entire team of Tupperware, and also the student yes, follow. Sir. Stay in touch and if possible, stay on the Telegram group so that you can guide the next batch of students. Yeah, absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. I will stay on the Telegram group yeah, and I will stay in contact with you all as well. Sir. Yes. Sure. All the best, Shai. Thank you. Yeah.